Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the walrus operator and that is more than likely why you're here because you've seen like this very interesting looking uh, kind of colon equal sign in Python code. Uh, this, Pyth this operator, excuse me, was introduced in uh, version 3.8 of Python. So it's, um, you know, it's about a one or two years old. I think it was introduced like in 2019 or maybe, or 2020, uh, but somewhere around that time, uh, whenever 3.8 was uh, released. So uh, we're going to look at an example uh, where we can potentially benefit from using uh, the walrus operator. And in this uh, script here, we are basically looking for spam phrases in a spam phrases in a message. And so um, you know we have some spam phrases uh, excuse me outlined in a list, uh, and then we have a function that will evaluate a message, uh, an email message, and against those spam phrases. Uh, if it finds spam phrases, it, it's going to result. It's going to return, excuse me, the phrases that it finds, uh, and then we will go ahead. Lastly, uh, get a count of the phrases. If there is more than one phrase in the message, then we will essentially say you have uh, n number of phrases in your message. Otherwise, no spam detected, right? Um, and you know, both times we're using this uh, length uh, function to count the number of items in our results list, right? The number of phrases that we find. So if I run this, um, you know, I have this message that says you have two spam phrases in your message, and that is consistent since my message actually contains hot dates, which is a spam phrase, and rich quick, which is another spam phrase. Now the walrus operator itself, uh, you know, if we kind of look at the Python documentation, it says it assigns values to variables as part of a larger expression, right? So what we're going to do with our walrus operator here is we're going to say our walrus operator uh, length results greater than one, right? So now we're we're prefixing uh, our expression here uh, with the walrus operator in order to capture this variable value. So and if we want to capture this variable value, we're going to just enclose this in parentheses. And the beauty of this is because we're capturing this variable value into R, now we can eliminate the use of length. Uh, results over here and just simply type R. So like now our code is cleaner and we can reuse R later on since it's been assigned to a variable. So if I run this, I should have the same message. So let me go ahead and run that. And here we go. It did it successfully. You have two spam phrases in your message. So that is what the walrus operator does. It effectively assigns values to variables as part of a larger expression. And that's what we're seeing here. We're assigning val uh, values of this expression to a variable effectively and then more cleanly using it later on in our code. Great. Well, I hope uh, that was clear and useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.